Tarkov is a dangerous place, and as the sun goes down and darkness covers the landscape, fog of war creeps in. The fear of darkness is inherently rooted in our evolution and psychology. It's a survival mechanism that has been passed down through generations. However, this can be used to our advantage when it comes to questing. People's innate fear of darkness often means that nighttime raids are less populated than daytime. While darkness causes a lack of visibility, it can also be concealment, allowing you to better move through the map without getting spotted. We begin on a clear evening at customs. I had to mark the fuel tankers and tigers, and Rubblecrap had to grab some items from dorms. Oh well, no big red. I'll do that quest later. You're going big red, you said? Oh uh, yeah, shall we go big red? Because I need to mark the tankers and I just want to do it in one raid. So I'm... Yeah. Or we can go dorms first. Actually, it doesn't there's a guy in front of me. I don't know if it's a scare or not. Scout kills? Uh, no. I did Aquarius part one in one go. Okay, I need those. You need scavs? If possible, yeah. yeah. Is this guy a scav? Where is he? Right here. He was not. He was a PMC. This guy's a PMC. This guy's a bot. Honestly, it's probably better big red than dorms okay. so they could just leave. Ow. Leave on back where we came from. Hold on, I need, I need to mag change. He's dead. Nice. He's, oh, you said big red first, right? Yeah. Okay. So we don't have to deal with dorm people? Yeah. Um, care the fence. I, I shot something at the fence. That was him. He just rotated back to the door. You in a bush? No. Killed it. What was that? It was a scav over here in the middle of the scav. Dude, okay. We need. I'm scum Let's just leave. Sorry. They're at Ruaf. Yeah, we need to go. Ruaf is one of the more dangerous spots on customs. It's got a lot of spawns around it, a common extract point but also sort of a crossroad for both dorms and fortress. Since we made a lot of noise off spawn, we decided to move towards Big Red. White van. Straight up ahead. And swinging left on him. There's, there's another guy further back. Okay. Go the one behind the van. I don't know where the guy further back is. I see him behind the right hand side of the orange. Yeah, I see him. Did I just head tap him? No. Oh, okay, there's one in here. He's dead. Is this a scab? Is he not dying? He's behind the white things. Okay. I'm nading it. It's a good a nade. A scav? Nade. Yeah. You alright? With the sun slowly setting over the horizon, I grabbed my pack of GPUs found a graphics card and a PC, marked a few tankers, then headed towards dorms. Oh! Okay. That's you running around out here, right? Yeah. It sounds like you're further to my left than behind me. Behind us, 
the scab. I've already jumped the fence. Oh, what? I yeah, it's missed. weird. Is that you? Yeah, at the end. Okay, yeah. Rubble Crab got the quest items he needed, and we made our way to new gas for my second to last mm. tanker. I need to do the old gas tanker as well. Yeah. Which is ages away. Oh, the old gas Yeah, the old gas out. tanker. That's what I'm saying. The pathing's just not great. It's like, maybe I just skip old gas for now. Yeah. Because I'm sure I'll go through that at some point. Where are you? I'm not with you. I'm at the fence. I just came in. I thought it was Rishala for a second. I'm to your right. Afraid of sniper scouts at the fucking checkpoint. <laughs> when they're sp spawning with AXMCs. <laughs> this guy had an M4. Or what? Can you half master? Uh, I have like five. I'm pretty sure I only need three. I'm waiting for the marker time on my first tiger to run down before placing my second marker. You can place both and it should complete fine, but it used to be a bug and knowing BSG, better be safe than sorry. Oopsie. Is this door open? The GPU room? I don't know. Can room? I... Do you want me to extract the wifey? You can extract. Okay. Now at this point, most people would go back to their hideout and call it a night, but for me, this was my opportunity to grind out some tasks. So under the cover of night, I set out with some night vision goggles, this time with Zol. Um, which direction should we go? I guess we should, it makes more sense to go backwards to Big Red. Yeah, sure. Should we cross that? Can we cross on the right side? Oh, guy on the bridge. Two people on the bridge. Yep, I see him. One's already fully crossed. One's on the bridge still. Oh shit. One's dead. The bridge guy's the dead. One on the, bri the bridge guy's dead. The other. He is at the tiger. To the tiger? Okay. Yeah. I think I just got him. Partisan, the music just played. Oh, Fuck up. He's somewhere, anyways. Wait, that's a PMC in small skelly. Okay. What? Right. 
Are you? Uh, Mark your tank here, maybe? Yeah. And then we can go do extortionist. True. And then we can hit the new gas. Sniper up there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you needed it. Did you? Well, no, I don't have the bolt action, so I don't actually need to kill this guy on this map. Scav dead on the bridge. Laser, left side. Wonder if it's off the scav's gun. Could be. Doesn't look like it is. It's looking up into the sky. It is? It was. Okay. Did you hear a step on your right? In big red. Oh, he's running out right now? He was running out. He was running out, he just went right to left. I'm assuming there's somebody up top and they're in an engagement or something maybe. Close the door behind me. Yeah, I think there's a. Do I kill him or leave him? I would try and hold him. He's dead. Okay. Uh, he he started looting, so I kind of just took the shot. Oh, okay, yeah. Then let's probably move in a bit, I guess. In that moment, I came to the conclusion that if he's looting, it's most likely that whatever engagement he was in is now over. But oh. as we approach the warehouse, we're still cautious of any lurkers nearby, just in case. The door's open. Sending it. Back here. Oof. This scar is like all nasty ammo. That five five A one. It's the CAP in the mag, and then all the rest is oh five five A one or nine nine five. <laughs> Oh, no. And then he had a stack of 55A1 sitting in his bag that was like taken out. Though at the same time, I kind of forget that player scouts probably aren't trying to do night raids too often. Early wipe, anyways, at least not on this map for sure. Yeah, but there's always that one freak who does. Yeah, true. And they're like the best player in the game. With a lot of the custom quests done, we begin the chain of shoreline quests. I build myself a pretty cheap AKM for Punisher Part 1 and put a suppressor on to stay concealed as much as possible. I guess we'll go pier first and then head over to weather. Just a scab, okay. Hopefully no one spawned here. Can you spawn here? Is that a thing? I had a long list of quests to do on Shoreline, and I planned on doing this as much as I can this raid. 
Some might say this is foolish and greedy, but I'm lazy and the more I can get done, the better. See, my theory is, because audio is really bad, if I can't hear them, they probably can't hear me. Oh god, I take that completely back. They can't hear me, I lied. I had to mark the ambulance and the med boxes underneath Skybridge, but with someone aware of my presence, I was debating if it made more sense to just cut our losses and skip them for now. Today's my last day off, so... Look, did he just see me? Get absolutely rolled. He did see me. I hope you don't have a friend. Do I go do signal part two? This might be the only guy in the server, or do I do the safe thing and just leave? Okay, we're doing the last satellite dish. This is an awkward timing. Oh, it is the wrong side. Bruh. Hope no one's in front of me. <laughs> oh, I'm exposed on this. Oh, 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 oh. Now I can grab the SUV on the way, hit SUV, and then the last tank on the way out, and maybe an ambulance if I have enough markers. No, I don't. So we'll just hit the SUV and the last tank. I need to 
mark these two ambulances at some point. Making it to Extract felt like a huge success. It really proved why questing at night was worth it. Many people avoid night raids in general, and even if there were others around, you can use the cover of darkness to move around the map, quietly but quickly. With so many shoreline quests done, we moved to woods. Ragman wanted to me to stash a handful of things at Pier of Sawmill, and nighttime is the perfect time to do this, as Pier is wide open from a lot of sightlines. Spawning outskirts, I quickly make my way to Pier. Even with night vision goggles, it's pretty difficult to see because of the bad weather. Where in the bloody fuck am I? Oh, we can't- we shouldn't go that way. Oh, okay, I know where we are. Am I heavy? Oh, weight hasn't changed much. Guess we go check for Violet? Go check the shack first. Is that laser coming through the building? The guy that I just took down had quad dots. The best night vision goggles that's available in Tarkov. Up until now, I was using the PNV 10Ts. It's the only night vision that mounts to a helmet from early level traders. Putting on the quad knots for the first time this wipe, the difference was almost night and day. Quite literally. It was brighter, less grainy, and had a larger field of view. With newfound confidence from the GPNVGs I found, I headed back into Shoreline to grab a couple more quest items. Oh, it's kind of bright. Oh my god. Trip. Appreciate the luck, JB. Have a good one. My goodness, why are the tripwires suddenly? Tripwires usually mean Partisan is nearby, so I had to be extra careful where I stepped and make sure I don't run into one of his mines. And as expected, Partizan was lurking in the area, and as I drop him, I see what looks to be another PMC, maybe stalking him. There's a guy right there. Oh, he's moving. He rotates away and unsure of where he might be, I make my way to resort once again. Do I get greedy? Do I loot partisan? Oh god, 
secret wires there. God. Now we head into uncharted territory, Lighthouse. Lighthouse is a place I avoid like the plague, even more than labs, but with max traders not so far off and the quest rewarding good amounts of XP, it was finally time to tick off some of the many quests I had on this map. Ew, I don't know what's worse, you playing League or me playing Lighthouse? I knew I'd have to go into the water treatment plant, so I decided to use the G28. I threw away DMR to make taking out the rogues a little bit easier from range. I also decided to use Feather, making this game monochrome. This made it so using night vision didn't strain my eyes as much, and I felt like it made it easier to see in general. Oh, I'm at Chalet. Is he already dead? Oh, I don't like this. The water treatment plant looked to be cleared out by someone else, so I carefully moved through until I heard this. Don't like the sound of that. After leaving the water treatment plant, we head into the train yard to find the secret weed container and mark my last tanker. I wouldn't realize till later that I was set to plant a Wi-Fi camera here. Thanks, Nikita. Okay, this map sucks. 
After realizing that I was supposed to plant a Wi-Fi camera in the container, I headed back in, and I'd end up in a slightly awkward encounter on the way. Holy shit, I got the worst spawn in the video game. Actually got the worst spawn in the game. Uh... Did I just kill both? Yeah, I probably got reported for that one. I grabbed the little loot they had and made my way to the water treatment plant once more. Oh my god, I actually just killed both. to pack my mags, don't I? I slowly clear the water treatment plant and make my way to the train yard. I place my Wi-Fi camera in the container and head towards X-Ray. It would be nice if we completed the first time and the game lets me know that you have to plant a camera there, but it's all good. Yes, Jeff, you hate us, you can just say that. Alright. Survived another lighthouse raid, that's rare. Very rare. Let's go! With the sun slowly starting to come back up, I head to my last location, Interchange. And this raid would end up being the perfect raid to reach max traders, and also wrap up this video. Got the exact same spawn. Kill it back here.
Two more of you? I do a quick scan of the area, checking if he had any other teammates. After looting the two bodies, I head to the second story to grab the book I need. Hearing shots in the direction I need to go, I'm a little indecisive if I should go down there or not. He's in the direction I need to go. So glad I saw his arm. After grabbing the second book, I loot up the two PMCs oh and head into Goshen to look for some food and water. This is the vector guy. Just need some food and then pray that. Dude. After some breakfast, I head towards the power station hoping that the car was there. Unfortunately, the car wasn't there. I decided to loot Grumpy's room with the key I bought, then head my way over to Railway to Exville. The car is not here. It's a bit fucked. I also decided to grab the plate here because it's the last one I need for a ref quest. I think this warrants an SJ. What a raid. Three PMCs. I wonder if that's enough. I think that's enough XP for max traders now. One, two. That's three. No, it's four. 
Dude, I farmed. It's level 42. My voice is slowly going, but level 42, max traders. Oh, that feels so good. Get a thick weapons case. That's it, boys. We are max traders.